we're going to answer a random question using this interactive spinner, but first we need to learn how to do it. So let's jump right into it to learn how to do it. So this interactive spinner has different animations on it and it's been nicely put into this christmas -y sort of thing. And if we look at the actual slideshow, we can see that I have done some light animations. In this tutorial, we won't be looking at that. And if you really want to, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment, be comment below. And if it gets enough comments and likes, I will create a follow up video on that. But we're gonna just start with a bare bones interactive spinning wheel in PowerPoint. So let's start a new presentation in PowerPoint and jump right into it. So we've got a blank slide. We're just gonna change the layout to blank as we not to blank as we normally do in these animation videos. And we're going to use this shape so we, we can just go in, in this home tab and we're just going to use this um this partial circle shape um it's in my recently used but you can find it in the basic shapes right underneath the oval so it's just right here and you just want to click once and your partial circle so it's like a segment um or really a sector if you like maths um, and we can just actually move these orange dots around to to create the sector angle and we can size it up also. So here's a shortcut, just hold shift to keep the, the object in the same layout so that I can move up and down, yet up and down, yet the, the ratio between the two sides will stay the same. Look, if I, if I don't do that, we can make some weird oval, partial oval shapes. Anyway, um, let's size that up to maybe there, that's fine. Um, and you can see how big the actual oval will be over here. And while we're at it, we can also add in just an oval really quickly, let's just quickly make it look a bit nicer we can make this maybe dark blue no outline okay anyway we've got our oval right here and we can first of all change change the outline to none and then we can just shape fill it as um, orange um, okay so what we're going to do now is just going to control holding on and we're going to do that and what we're going to do is just rotate it but while we're at this first let's just zoom in and make sure this orange dot is right where this gray dot is so that it's a perfect right angle which would be good so what we're going to do next is we're just going to um, let's delete that because we've now got a better one i'm going to go Control shift again and we're going to rotate it by 90 degrees there we go okay change change the color to maybe i don't know green let's do green um, and then blue and stuff like that okay and then Control shift again rotate it 90 degrees move back in there we go That's good. Yep, make this yellow now. Control shift, rotate it. Okay, move it in. And now we have a light blue one. Okay, that looks lovely now. Um, we're just going to group that all together. It's almost like a Microsoft logo. I didn't realize that. Um, well, that um, well, that's a coincidence. And we can just group that all together and just go in the shape format tool, align center and align middle. I'm going to quick for you, just make sure to just go back along the video and just see what I did again. And you can even put the speed down low and this bit over here in the settings. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we've got a nice Microsoft logo sector, which isn't really how I started it out. You can see um, here, didn't really start it out like that, but uh, looks kind of the same, it's fine. Um, you can choose whatever colors you want as well. And while we're at it, we can also add some quick lights. You don't really need to do, need to do this. If I do do the follow-up video, um, I will show you how to do these animated lights. But it's fine. I'm just going to add a lot of soft edge, basically, and just make it look quite nice. Um, so let's just make sure the soft edge is nice. Got a nice thing there. We don't want too much. So there's our light. Um, you don't need to do this, of course. I'm just doing this so that it looks nice and then you can just dot that around um, but we can just leave it at that I just wanted to show you how to do that while we're while we're making this look nice okay so that, that's just one thing you don't really need to do the rest anyway we're gonna add some um, the options are so it could be names for example um, I could write the names but as I said we're gonna answer a really random question with this spinner because why not we're gonna see how many subscribers I will have by Christmas 2021 because I want to know. Maybe everyone will unsubscribe. So let's put a zero in there. Um, now we're just going to make just going to make that aerial black. It doesn't really matter what you choose. We can rotate it. Go to shape format and go to shape effects and just click whatever and just go 3D options for example. 
you just want to open up this format shape tab another alternative way of doing that let's just close that here is to go to um, design and go format background i know we're not formatting the background but we've got this format shape tab up which is quite nice so what we're going to do is just going to go to this last one here the properties the size and properties and we're just going to actually go into size which you might not think is but we've actually got this rotation feature in here we're going to make this i think 45 if i remember correctly uh, there we go yeah that's that's good um, and this will go um, and this will go in the bottom right over here um, now what we're going to do is just make sure that's centered so you can just click wait first of all we can just ungroup that and just click on that and that um, and just make sure it looks like it's in the center we've got the same good okay um you can regroup all of that actually we didn't really need to undo this over across again go control shift and let's be optimistic you know what maybe i'll have 600 subscribers by then who knows we can put this over here on that side okay control shift again this time drag it across make it 500 that's a relatively um, go across make it 500 that's a relatively um moderate guess maybe a bit optimistic but that's fine we can be optimistic and instead of the rotation being 45 we're actually going to do negative 45 um which which powerpoint point can actually take which is quite cool um and then what you can do with this is uh, this is actually add add 180 to it i actually prefer it being um, um negative 225 that's better like that so that when it spins you can see it like on that way up anyway we've got it here let's just align it nice now we're going to copy this 600 down and let's be more that's it not too pessimistic let's say 400 for example um if we continue at the rate that we're going that's fine and we're just going to make it what 315 lovely and once again we're going to align it with the there we go that's nice okay so now it's time for the animations we can actually bring this together um i don't like it how it is so we can just we can just ungroup it and then go align center align middle and we can move this across okay and we can also highlight all of this we've got a lot to do there we go centered nice okay um and while we're at it let's also just add some lights because why not and this is a sort of hack let's do it Control g and go Control c c c depends on how many lights you want but we can just have as many as we want because why not there we go we've got um four sets of lights and we're just gonna go align left align top first rotate the first one there 45 um 90 degrees the next one we can actually go back into here and go 45 oh, we've got it correct exactly correct i'm a bit cracked at the game um anyway uh there we go negative 45 there we go we've got some lights why not they look nice and it's a the wheel now we need an arrow so um there's two ways of getting this arrow you can either use um uh a normal arrow so you can just have a block arrow and then just pull this um sorry wrong one you can pull the this right out but there's actually a particular shape for this which is um this shape right here if I can find i've got it recently used but let me find it where it's supposed to be uh it's probably in the arrows and it's right here so it's called uh, the arrow pentagon lovely like a regular pentagon and we can just rotate this again and we're gonna make it purple I, why not i like purple there we go okay and we can actually make this a bit wider if you don't like it like that and of course you can adjust this i don't want to adjust it though because i like it how it is and smaller by the way i'm holding control if you want to it basically makes it go on both sides like a mirror feature in powerpoint um, um we're just gonna zoom in don't really like it at the moment okay we're gonna make it a bit taller that's nice okay um and now for the animation we're gonna get onto that now we're going to highlight all of these things and go control g so we've got this whole thing and you can see if it spins spins but we're sort of missing this one over here why are we missing that one why are we missing that one no there we go we're not missing it anymore and you can see we spin it lovely that's our manual animation i'm joking no we're going to actually animate it so we're going to go to animations and we're going to you guessed it press on pulse i'm joking we're going to do spin guessed it press on pulse i'm joking we're going to do spin um and oh we're missing another one why are we missing that one? Oh, that's not good um well let's just group that again together and again we're going to put spin on it 
and we're gonna make the duration 0.5 so it's gonna be quite fast you can obviously change this but if we go and just press animation pane I like using this animation um, if we go play from you can see it's quite fast and it's not exactly centered either so let's just pull these in just make sure it's nicely pulled in so you just basically want to make sure the point of rotation is right at the center otherwise it's gonna sort of jitter about like how you saw it just how you saw it just go just then but here we go let's see if that's better it's a bit better i don't know what's wrong with it um but you can obviously fix it yeah it's not like exactly aligned it's just sort of because i haven't been doing these points exactly but it's fine we can work with it so there we go you can see it's sort of going out at some point not sure why but anyway once again you can fix that um it's very simple like you can see if i just copy in the one that i've got over here actually um you can see it's a it's it's perfectly centered so we don't really need to worry once if we if we get this one it will look nice we're just sort of cheating at this point but all for the content all for the content um here we go there's our spinning animation and you didn't see what i did there because i didn't show you let's just put the spin back on okay what i've got here is actually a, a rep, 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 repetition on this slide um on this animation so what you need to do so i've just got it back to what we've got and what you need to do is just press on these additional effect options okay um so what we're going to do is just press on the timing and go into repeat and press until until next click there we go um, and what we're going to do also is use this trigger animation which you might not have seen but you could click in the top right hand corner if you don't mind and have a look at that interactive um, or clickable animations in powerpoint um, which is also really cool and while we're at it let's also size up some of the te text i like to size up some text there we go that's nice okay um once again we've got it rotating and this time if you can see it rotates forever and i think now i've figured out what the problem was i've just made the text too big last time so let's just size it down again okay so there we go there's our our spin that just goes on so for example if i play the slide right now click you can see it just goes on and on and on but as i was saying we're going to be making it interactive so um we can use a clickable animation by going to the trigger option here in the animation pane to go to trigger and go on click of and just work out whatever group it is if you don't know what group it is all you can do is just click this um, and you can see in the animation pane right here so you can see it's group 12 30 sorry group 32 um, and just click on that and that's basically how it works another option is to just not have a trigger at all which is what i'm going to be doing um, just no trigger at all and it's just going to be on click and then when it stops it stops and oh what you might be wondering is that i've made it so that it's until next click but if i click it now the slide is actually going to end look you can see end of slide slow click to exit that's like i hate that page i don't know why but anyway um that we can actually make a placeholder animation um which is like something that you don't see is off screen and i just like just like using a rectangle and we're just going to make it appear you know like that and you might be wondering where was that in my first slide probably aren't but i just wanted to show you it's actually this block right here which has the the animation in the animation pane right here so we're gonna just do that and you don't really need to change any need to change anything about that you can see it's a very um, nice animation and of course you can add some background colors and stuff and if we run it from the beginning now you can see i can click there we go and to stop click again and what's actually very nice if, if you double tap the back button it resets and then you can redo it if you want right so let's bring up my first one now and let's answer that really random question how many subscribers will i have by christmas let's just run the slideshow okay 500 let's go okay so make sure you subscribe to make me hit this target by christmas it'll, it'll be a lovely christmas present and I thank you for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure to like it and subscribe down below. Don't forget to check out some of my other content. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.